everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So before we get into some Major League Baseball action for August the 14th, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So Major League Baseball is getting down to the last uh, little less than two months of the season, and there's a lot going on because teams are looking for a position for the playoffs. So let's get started. There's a full slate of games, and we will take a look at six of them. And so we'll scroll down through here. The first one we want to look at is the Cleveland Guardians and the Toronto Blue Jays. The two teams are heading in opposite directions. You see Cleveland is entering, entering the contest burning hot winners of four out of their last six, while Toronto is ice cold down. They have lost four out of their last six. If you look at the over-under, you can see that uh, Cleveland has been involved in games over the line in just two out of the last six, while Toronto has been over the line in five out of their last six, so they have been trending on opposite sides of the line. Uh, the score predictor has Cleveland by a 6-2 to two score with about 70% level of confidence. If that were to hold true, that would most likely be under the line. Uh, the line has not yet been set yet. Um, if you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see Cleveland has been on a rise here from plus 4 up to plus 21, or 22, excuse me, while Toronto was at plus 16. They have been steady at plus 6 over the last couple of days. Neither team has named their starting pitcher as of yet. Take a closer look at that as it gets closer to the game time. The stability factor, you will see here that Cleveland at plus 20 compared to Toronto at plus 12. So both teams have been pretty stable, meaning they are consistently performing with regard to their favorite underdog status. In the end, I like Cleveland and an in the game going over the line. I like to end Miami. We won't look at that one. Baltimore and Tampa Bay. The Orioles are really hot right now. They're playing excellent baseball. There's no doubt about it. They are 5-1 and one over their last six. While Tampa Bay is averaged down, they have lost their last two and three out of their last four. Both teams have been involved in games over the line, though. If you see the Baltimore in their last four and five out of their last six, and Tampa Bay also in five out of their last six. We'll see if the score predictor has the same type of idea as far as the outcome and the score for this game. Uh, Baltimore 9-1 to one with about 67% level of confidence, so a blowout predicted for the Orioles. On the power ranking indicator, See, Baltimore was at plus 21 just a few days ago. They have increased to plus 25. While Tampa Bay, they have been up and down. You can see they were at plus 27 as of August 6th. They dipped back up again. Now they have dipped again to plus 14 at the moment. If you take a look at the volatility oscillator, neither team has yet named their starting pitcher for Sunday's game. If you look at the stability factor, you can see Tampa Bay extremely stable at plus 16. Whereas Baltimore has not been there at plus 4. They were at a peak at plus uh, 10 back on May the 18th. So we're talking almost three months ago. And they have not yet hit that since up and down. And as you can see, they are not consistent with performing with regard to their favorite underdog status. In the end, I like the Orioles. I think they are the hotter team at the moment. Clearly the hotter team. And they will come away with a road win. But I would avoid the over-under bet. Chicago-Cincinnati, Philadelphia Phillies, and the New York Mets. This is going to be the game of the day, I believe. Both teams are red hot. I mean, look at this. The Phillies have won seven in a row. Now, you only see the last six here, but uh, in the last six winner, winners of every game. The Mets the same way, winners of their last six. Neither team has yet named their starting pitcher. If you look at the over-under, you can see that uh, Phillies have been involved in games over the line in five out of their last six, and the Mets have been involved in games over the line in three out of their last four. The score predictor has the Mets at 6-5 with about 89% level of confidence. Now, when I looked at this earlier, it was at 91%, but still it's a high level of confidence. Um, if you take a look at the power ranking indicator, it will not be a surprise that both teams here are very high at the top of the league right now. The Mets at 28, the Phillies at plus 27. This is a classic NL East battle. This is going to be a great game. Let's take a look at the volatility oscillator. You can see that. One thing here is that the Mets have been consistently uh, stable at plus 26. The Phillies have been not stable all year long. Now, over the last uh, several days, it have been. You can see it's on the upward trend because they have been fair and they have been winning. Um, so take a closer look at that. 
in the end, this is going to be a great game. The only thing I'm going to do is say, hey, Mets only because you're playing at home, probably by a run. I like the 6-5 to five prediction, maybe not by that exact score, but I like a one-run game with the Mets simply because they are playing at home. The Tigers and the White Sox, the Dodgers and the Royals. Next game we want to look at here as we scroll down through the list. NL Central Battle, Brewers and the Cardinals, the Phillies and the Mets for the top game of the day. This would probably be the second best game of the day. Both teams coming into play burning hot. You can see that uh, over the last six, Brewers are 3-3 three and three with their winners over their last two. The Cardinals have won five out of their last six. Aaron Ashby is scheduled to pitch for Milwaukee and Miles Mikolas for the Cardinals. Ashby is 2-10 with a 4.32 ERA and a very poor bet at minus $506. Mikolas has a better one loss record at 8-9 and a better ERA at 3.50, but not a good bet also at minus $136. The score predictor has the Cardinals by a 7-6 margin with about 62% level of confidence. If you look at the over-under, you can see that over the line for the Brewers, 4 out of their last 6, and for the Cardinals, also 4 out of their last 6 and each of their last 3. The power ranking indicator has... Milwaukee up at plus 13. They were at zero just a few days ago. And the Cardinals, they were steady for uh, close to a week at plus 20, and they dipped to plus 23. Now, the two teams performing consistently with their favorite underdog stats. Well, um, Cardinals most of the time, yes, plus 26. You can see that they've been on a steady upward trend. While the Brewers, up and down, they were at plus 11, back about two and a half months ago, May 21st, and they are now down to plus eight. In the end, I like the Cardinals in the home victory in this one, and I would like the game going over the line. I think this will be an offensive battle. Um, Mariners, Rangers, we're not going to look at that game. We're going to look at the Pirates and the Giants. Both teams coming into play struggling. The Pirates are ice cold up. They've won just two out of their last six. While the Giants are averaged down, they have lost their last two by a combined score of 20 to 11 to the San Diego Padres. Neither team has named their starting pitcher as of yet. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see the downward trend. San Francisco down from plus 24 to plus 15, and Pittsburgh down from plus 20 to plus 11. The score predictor has the Giants by a 7-1 to margin, but only about 50% level of confidence, so that's like a toss of the coin, so take that with a grain of salt. If you look at the over-under, you can see that the Pirates have been over the line in 4 out of their last 6, while the Giants have been in games over the line in 5 out of their last 6, so expect a higher scoring game in this one. But then again, do you really expect a higher scoring game? Well, it depends on what you look at, because the score predictor has... Again, 7-1 to one scores, that's 8 runs total. Will that be over the line? Probably not. So a little bit of conflicting reports there. The volatility oscillator has Pittsburgh at plus 23, the Giants at plus 14. So both teams have been pretty consistently performing with regard to their favorite underdog status. In the end, I like the Giants at home, and I will think that this game would going to be uh, over-under. I'm leaning under in this one, but... I would, might avoid the bet, but if I do bet, it would be under the line. Minnesota and the Angels. The last game we want to look at here for today is the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. In this old AL East rivalry game, both teams are just struggling. There's no other way to put it. Both dead status. The Yankees have lost five out of their last six. And the Red Sox four in a row and also five out of their last six. James and Talion is scheduled to pitch for the Yankees, and the Red Sox have not yet named the starter. Talion is 11-2 with a 3.95 year rate, and he's been excellent bet, though, at plus $687 on the pitcher profit oscillator. If you look at the over-under, the Yankees have been involved in games over the line in three out of their last six, while the Red Sox have been in games over the line in all six of their last six. But if you look at the score predictor, 5-3 to three in favor of the Red Sox with about 77% level of confidence. That definitely would not be a score going over the line. So it's a little bit iffy here as far as betting the over-under. On the power ranking indicator, not a surprise that both teams are near the bottom because of the way they're playing at the moment. 
Uh, Boston at plus five and the Yankees at zero. Doesn't get any lower than that. The volatility oscillator, the consistency factor, the Yankees have been much more consistent at plus 29 compared to plus eight for Boston. In the end, I will avoid the over under bet. I think the Yankees will take this one on the road. So the Yankees, but avoid the over under. So there you have it. Those are the games for Major League Baseball for August the, uh, 14th. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.